Hi, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. I recently discovered that I have a vine weevils in my garden. So while I deal with them, I thought that I will share with you a few tips and informations on how to get rid of them naturally, that is, without using pesticides. Vine weevils are black beetles with sort of yellow spots on their back. From late spring till early autumn, they feed on plants foliage. They eat both flowers and leaves of plants, and they do have some preferences. They will not eat just any plant. They especially love rhododendrons, hydrangeas, hookuras, and also some fruit bushes such as currants and blueberries. You are most likely gonna encounter vine weevils when growing plants in containers. They can be a bit tricky to spot because they only come out at nighttime and even then they usually hide under the leaf surface. But the damage they make is quite characteristic as they only eat the margins of the leaves and petals, leaving irregularly shaped notches. And as long as they can make the plant look a bit ugly and they can reduce the vigor of the plant, they are not necessarily gonna kill the plant. I'm sure that you've also heard about vine weevil grabs. So by the end of summer, early autumn, the eggs that the mature beetles laid will hatch into grabs. And those grabs that are usually small, C-shaped, white grabs with brown heads, they will live in the soil and they will feed on the plant's roots and tubers from autumn till mid-spring. And those guys can make a lot of damage really fast. Last fall, I didn't realize I had vine weevil grubs, and within a few months, they ate all the roots of all my hookeras. I was able to save my plants, but I learned the lesson that you should never ignore vine weevils in your garden. So how to get rid of vine weevils? In summertime, you will only have adult beetles. You will not have grubs in soil. So adult beetles, I think they are fairly easy to control, especially if you have a small balcony garden or small garden in general. You will go out at nighttime with your torch and you will inspect your plants and make sure to do it every single night or at least several times a week. You can pick them off by hand. You can also put an overturned umbrella on the floor and you can just gently shake your pot and they should fall into the umbrella and then you can just get rid of them or you can put just some newspapers and also shake your pot gently above the newspapers and then just get rid of the uh, all the bugs that fall on the newspaper. If you notice that you have a lot of beetles in your garden, for example, in my balcony garden, sometimes when I go out at night, I can find between five and 10 beetles at the time, which I find is a lot because it's only a small balcony garden. So uh, you can also set uh, a nematode trap. So nematodes are microscopic worms. Uh, it's a natural biological control method where you introduce a specific predator to fight a specific pest. The nematode that is in here is called Steiner nemacarpocapsi. Um, so nematodes are microscopic organisms, microscopic worms that live in soil naturally. And how this trap works is that you place it on top of soil, so in your pot, and during the day when the vine weevils will seek a shelter, they will search a place to hide, they will enter this trap and they will get contaminated with those nematodes and they should die within 48 hours. If you had vine weevil uh, beetles in your garden in summer, I also recommend that you apply nematodes uh, in fall. So in fall, the eggs that the adult beetles laid will hatch into vine weevil grubs and those grubs, as we said, will feed on the roots of your plant. So here you will buy a different species of nematode. It's usually going to be a Steiner nema krause. So you mix it in with water and then you water it onto the soil. It's really important um, that the soil is moist and you want to keep that soil moist for two weeks to make sure that those nematodes are able to stay alive and to do what they are supposed to do. Also, the temperatures have to be warm enough in fall. So if you live in a colder climate, make sure that you do it early enough where the temperatures are still above five degrees Celsius. It can happen that the nematodes that you applied in fall didn't have enough time to kill all the grubs that were present in the soil. So in spring, if you repot your plants and you still see some grubs active in the soil, you can reapply nematodes in spring if the weather is warm enough. Well, I wish that you will never find vine weevils in your garden, but if you do, I hope that you will find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!